what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the roundup this is episode 242 keeping you guys up to date on all the latest news and rumors before we get into it a lot of news was discussed yesterday in the previous episode of the roundup and also an extra episode of the roundup we discussed all the latest in regards to Rey mysterio brock lesnar leaving the wwe possibly after wrestlemania and also an extra episode discussing the latest in regards to dove Ziggler because he did sign a new deal with the wwe so I gave my two cents in regards to that so make sure that you guys check it out if you guys haven't yet Nonetheless, let's get on to today's episode of the latest as always Starting off with reports from yesterday as it was reported that WWE briefly spoiled The outcome of the last chance fatal four-way match for Monday's Raw As they indicated on an Elimination Chamber graphic that Finn Balor will be the one to qualify for the match The graphic was up yesterday briefly and again showing Finn Balor next to The Miz Roman Reigns, John Cena, Braun Strowman and Elias indicating that he is the last member to be in the Elimination Chamber match to determine the number one contender for Brock Lesnar Universal Championship. Now this is no surprise of course because we have been reporting that the last member will be Finn Balor as Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy are said to continue feuding and WWE doesn't have any concrete plans for Apollo Crews as of right now. Soon after of course WWE changed the graphic back to the defense fought one with the last participant grayed out of course plans could change especially now that things have been revealed but as of right now Finn Balor is the one set to go on into this elimination chamber match and moving on to some other reports and the latest in regards to Bailey and Sasha Banks and what exactly is going on with them because they are said to at least have a program heading into Wrestlemania 34 Dave Meltzer speculated on the latest installment of Wrestling Observer Radio that WWE could be planning a swerve with this Bailey and Sasha Banks situation and how you may ask is that WWE could be planning to swerve fans and have Bailey finally turn heel instead of Sasha Banks while discussing the match on March 15 which is in Madison Square Garden in which Elias and Bailey are set to go against John Cena and Nikki Bella in a mixed match Melso explained that the pairing of Elias and Bailey could indicate a heel turn in the near future Brian Alvarez also suggested that the angle they're currently having with Sasha Banks and Bailey could be done to swerve the fans and Bailey could end up being the one turning heel. It is also worth noting the fact that Sasha Banks and Bailey in social media over the last couple of days they have been throwing shades at each other and as we know right now they're each trying to beat Asuka but none of them have been successful to do it. Out of all of this regardless of which one turned heel I am hoping that ultimately we get that WrestleMania 34 match Sasha Banks versus Bailey whether it is to determine a number one contender down the line line for a women's championship match that might be a good reason for them to fight it out but also for them to just start a, an amazing feud that will hopefully expand to two to three pay-per-views because we know that they're going to be giving us the best matches sticking with the women's of wrestling after being retired for several years former wwe star caitlin made her in-ring return at saturday's nice ccw event and it's definitely pretty cool to see her back i saw a couple of clips of it and she looks ready to return for sure to the WWE so if that is something that WWE currently haven't planned then they're definitely able to do it because she's ready to go and as we know WWE and her aren't necessarily in bad terms I was actually surprised at the fact that she was in a surprise entrance in the Royal Rumble match simply because it has been teased for so long that she was going to be and also the fact that she has been posting so many wrestling clips in her Instagram and also on Twitter where we see her back in the ring training and just expressing her herself and indicating how much she missed getting in the ring with other ones moving on to some other news and the latest in regards to Hulk Hogan coming back to the WWE as we know Hulk Hogan left the WWE on bad terms due to problems that occur outside of the company Hogan was caught making racial slurs on the notorious tape he made and the WWE immediately terminated Hogan's WWE legend contract with the company the WWE then removed almost all of the information about Hulk Hogan from their official website or the wrestlers and announcing not to mention Hulk Hogan by name and even remove him from the WWE Hall of Fame however over the past year Hulk Hogan's name has come back to the WWE television and he might be set to return very soon Hulk Hogan and nature boy Ric Flair took part in an interview with TMC Sports and talk about Hulk Hogan's problem and his possible WWE return in the interview Hulk Hogan said that he is ready for his WWE return and hope that Vince McMahon will give 
give him the chance to prove he is still a good guy. However, Hulk Hogan took it one step further in the interview as Hulk Hogan said that he is still in good terms with the WWE despite his banishment from the company. Hogan then revealed that he has been working towards a return and the WWE has the same goal. In the end of the interview, Hulk Hogan said that the timing has to be perfect for both him and the WWE, but he will get back with the company someday soon. So the fact that Hulk Hogan is saying this is because something is more than likely brewing up and something is on the table for him to return. Hulk Hogan also said that he wants to change the last story with the WWE. He said that he wants to get back into the company as Hulk Hogan and correct a lot of things that have tarnished his name and career over the past few weeks. As mentioned, Nature Boy Ric Flair was beside Hulk Hogan during the interview and had nothing but good things to say about his former rival. Ric Flair said that Hulk Hogan is one of the most caring people that he has ever met. So there's a lot of praises coming Hulk Hogan way and the crazy thing is that uh, this is being covered a lot by TMC. So it looks like with TMC covering all of this, Hulk Hogan is getting a lot of good publicity at the moment. And a lot of people are seeing that because again it is being covered by TMC. So this is a good thing in the public eyes meaning that WWE could bring Hulk Hogan back very soon if after all, all we're hearing about him is positive stuff from other people. Especially from legends like Ric Flair's and then ultimately this being covered by major media outlets. It's also crazy the fact that Hulk Hogan indicated that him and the WWE are working towards a return. So again, not just him, but also the WWE is working to bring Hulk Hogan back. And obviously this is the case because WWE wouldn't be mentioning Hulk Hogan on television unless they have planned to bring him back. And last but not least, I want to discuss the latest in regards to WWE considering bringing back a top superstar for WrestleMania 34. WWE is reportedly planning on bringing Goldberg back for an appearance at this year's WrestleMania event. According to a report by the UK Sun, WWE is considering plans to bring back the WWE former Universal Champion for the Andre the Giant Memorial battle royal match as i discussed before wwe is planning to make this match as huge as possible especially due to the fact that hbo is doing a documentary during wrestlemania for andrew the giant so there's going to be a lot of buzz around andrew the giant and especially wwe is going to be capitalizing on the andrew the giant battle royal match ringside news discussed how it will be interesting to see what plays out at wrestlemania as we already know that goldberg will be in town and he is scheduled to headline the WWE Hall of Fame that weekend so it is very possible and the good thing about it is that if Goldberg does return for that match he doesn't have to do a lot of work just because there's so many other things going around in that match as there's so many superstars in the ring that he could just get away without taking any bumps and ultimately eliminating some guys in the match to win it. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. I'm certainly a big fan of the WWE making this match as big as possible. If they want to have it as surprising as the Royal Rumble, go right ahead. I'm all for it. Some of the up and coming younger talent should win it though, but nonetheless, it could still be a surprise to see Goldberg in it. And the last piece of news that I got for you guys is in regards to Booker T and Corey Graves. Now Booker T and Booker T, not nah, nah, brothers, Booker T and Corey Graves. As we know, they have been going at it at each other for about two weeks now. I don't want to get into a specific, but I just want to let you guys know that we were all worked because Booker T and Corey Graves revealed that uh, they were just having fun and none of the heat that they had between each other is actually true. I'm going to run a clip of Booker T podcast heated conversations so that you guys can hear both of these guys explaining what was happening how they worked the internet which by the way on the first day that i reported this i leaned towards the possibility that it was a work and it was and i told you guys about it nonetheless monkey in the production truck roll it right raw. a lot of people don't know how hard i was smiling when they told me i was going to be moving on moving back to my old position <laughs> but 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 cory well i i'm one of, i'm one of those people because i saw you walk in the locker room <laughs> grinning ear to ear and i said what are you so happy about <laughs> That's that's why when all this blew up, when I heard it, I was getting phone calls and text messages. You got to hear this. Booker said this. And as soon as I heard it, I didn't know you like I know you. I was just like, oh, that's just book working. So, so I figured, you know, just being in the old school mentality, I'm like, oh, let's have fun with this. <laughs> God, did it take off. <laughs> So that's what even I, I told Cole the other day after we talked on uh, Monday. And he goes, 
so this thing with you and book it's it's cool i said it's you know book it's just we're just goofing around he goes okay well what what's the end game what are we trying to accomplish we're not trying to accomplish anything we're just having fun <laughs> we're just messing with each other like we do every day constantly <laughs> and and somehow you know the world picked up on it in the grand scheme of things, you and I are relatively inconsequential to the, the good of the United States or the world as a whole, right? We're entertainers. We, we just go out there and try to make ourselves laugh and, and keep ourselves occupied. So God forbid these, this story involving two guys like us blows up to the point. Imagine how much of the stuff you get on a daily basis yeah. about, you know, whether it's government or politics yeah. or, or just, you know, any sort of news. Yeah. People didn't check any facts. I didn't get a single phone call from any of these. So there you guys have it. That is what I got for you guys on this roundup episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, oh boy, drop that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet because we're in the 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to see you. Dig it.